I'm Dr. Kate Huntsman. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon at the Utah Institute for Robotic Surgery. We have here behind me a robotic spinal surgery system. This technology helps me to place pedicle screws in patients who have spinal deformity or instability, either scoliosis or a traumatic injury or severe degenerative arthritis through very minimally invasive incisions with a lot less soft tissue damage, less blood loss, and therefore uh, faster and easier recoveries for patients. Patients oftentimes will herniate discs in their neck. When you herniate a disc in the neck, it can cause a lot of neck pain and headaches and also pinch nerves and potentially even pinch the spinal cord and radiate pain down into your arm. When you have that kind of a condition, oftentimes surgery is necessary. Classically, the surgery for that was a fusion, but we have some great technology now that allows us to replace that disc. We have a disc replacement that instead of fusing those levels, we place an artificial disc similar to a total joint in a hip or a knee and replace the disc so that it allows the patient to continue to have motion at that level. This is a great technology for somebody that's younger, who's very active with these arm pain symptoms, neck pain symptoms. This will help to alleviate those symptoms through a very minimally invasive approach. This is oftentimes something I do as an outpatient. So it's about an inch and a half to two inch long incision on the front of the neck. And we go in minimally invasive, remove all the herniated disc, and replace it with a disc replacement. The disc replacement is made out of metal and plastic, and then it allows the patient to have normal motion or near normal motion in their neck. So what we do is we create a small incision on the front of the neck. Usually I go a little bit off to the left of midline and we dissect down through the muscles. We don't really have to cut any muscles to get there. Once we're down on the front of the spine, we're looking at the disc. So we'll take an x-ray to make sure that we're at the appropriate level and then we will cut out the disc that's there. This is all done under a microscope. I have an assistant standing opposite and they're helping to hold muscles out of the way so that I can do this through a very small incision. We remove all the disc, we go all the way back to the spinal cord, we can look at the nerve root that's affected, remove all of the disc and potentially bone spurs off of that nerve root, and then once that's all removed and cleaned up, then we place this artificial disc. It's got two pieces of metal on the end and plastic in the middle, and we tamp that down into this area between the two bones and then check its position with x-ray to make sure it's perfectly positioned. And that's it. Very simple, straightforward surgery. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour to do. And it's done as an outpatient, so the patient can go home the same day.